specs. It's a knife, um, a kitchen knife, obviously. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a good old fashioned what I got for Christmas video. I almost wasn't about to make this and then I was like, you know what? It'll be fun. I like doing some of the old YouTube trends sometimes, or at least, you know, in my mind, I have ideas of like, yeah, I definitely want to do these kinds of videos because I've been watching YouTube for years and wanting to make the videos, but then just watching other people do it and being like, wow, that sounds really cool. I wish I could do that and I could. I just didn't have the confidence at the time to do it. And now, now I am halfway there. So we're, we're just gonna indulge a little bit. I also was a little bit conflicted because, I don't know, I've had a lot of mixed feelings around just consumerism in general recently. I mean, I kind of always have been that way, if I'm being really honest, but it's been a little bit more of an extreme for me recently. I kind of go in phases where I'm like, oh, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, no, 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 must break the convention. I'm a little bit like Phoebe Buffet from Friends. Um, so I've been told, and you know, I, I, I do relate to that quite a bit. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, I feel like I can kind of justify it even more so because a lot of the things that I'm going to share happen to be a little bit more like anti-consumerism, or at least if they're not necessarily like anti-consumerism, they are definitely tools that help with certain hobbies that make a person maybe not need to consume as much. It maybe is a better way to put it. A little bit more self-reliance you know what I mean. So without further ado, here is what I got for Christmas this season. This was something that I didn't necessarily ask for, but my dad got it for me. And it was one of those things where I, it, you know, I didn't ask for it. But then when I got it, I was like, actually, that's really helpful. That's really useful. So I have this electric toothbrush still kind of scares me a little bit when it turns on. There's like different settings. Yeah, some of these I, I, settings I definitely won't use. I tried to, I used it last night and I used the one that I was like, okay, which one of these seems the least extreme? So <laughs> it came with brush heads and um, what is that? Oh, I guess that's the charger. Okay, cool. And it, and it has a little case too. Yeah. I, I love this. I definitely will be using it. So, so thanks dad. That was great. Up next, I got this. This is a jar opener. I'm very excited about this because I'm constantly asking people to open jars for me. I have small hands. I'm only 5'2". I'm not a very big person. A lot of times it's not even a strength thing. It's like getting a proper grip depending on the size of the jar. And so this has various sizes and I, I assume that the leverage with this whole little silicone sort of situation over here, I'll be opening all of the jars myself now. So hallelujah to some independence. Okay, up next, this is honestly a really nice gift. My brother got this for me and I will have this for life. I can't tell you all of the fun little specs. It's a knife, um, a kitchen knife, obviously. I, yeah, I don't know enough about knives. He's very much into knives. He's a chef, but also he just likes knives in general. Like he has different swords and everything, collects all of those different stuff. He's telling me that this is a Japanese knife. There's something really special about the way that this blade is formed. Uh, I guess like it's really strong around the blade itself, but then it has like flexibility up here <laughs> on the top part of the knife. I don't know the different terms. Don't judge me or, you know, at least just put it in the comments if you know more about knives than I do. Yeah, honestly, like if you know all the things about this, what is it? Like what, what's the brand? Yaxel? I'll, I'll give you a little close up so you can see. Oh, I guess it does come with this little thing too. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it has it in German. Die klingen sie nicht 
zum Hacken von Lebensmitteln, gefrorenen Kochen, extre extrem harte Speckswarten, USW. <lacht> That was fun to um, practice a little bit of my German reading. I haven't done that in a hot minute. I could also just read it in English and actually understand it. Yeah, all right, anyway, that I'll mess with that a little bit later. I'll mess up with that. <laughs> if you speak German, you understood that. But if not, I honestly probably was that hard to figure out. The word for knife in German is messer. So I, it was funny, it was really funny. That's what we've got there. Coming up next, I don't know exactly where things left off because uh, my phone ended up running out of memory and I had to delete videos in order to be able to continue recording. But yeah, coming up next, I think where we left off, is something that is going to be a very helpful tool on this self-reliance journey. I am hopping on the trend of the, the hydroponic garden. Yes, this was the only thing that I asked for. My, my dad asked me what I wanted and I was like, I need, I'll give you some ideas. I don't care what you get. This is the only thing that I really want is a hydroponic garden. So um, I'm starting with a small one. I don't have a whole lot of space, so I can't do one of those really crazy tower ones. But this one, has got 12 pods. This is the top lamp part. And then I'm sure it plugs in and all of that stuff. I just, we're gonna do this on another day because I'm about to go traveling for a couple of days. I honestly, I think I'm gonna make a whole video on doing hydroponic gardens because not only did I get this one, but my friends knew that I really wanted a hydroponic garden. So they also got me one. So this one has three pods, the other one has 12. So we'll have quite a few to get started. I think this one I can probably keep in my room too because it's a little bit smaller. The other one I'm probably gonna have to keep in a different room because of spice. But I'm very, very excited about both of those and I can't wait. There's a couple of things that I've tried to grow that have not been successful at each time I've tried to grow them from seed. So I'm hoping that this method might make that a little bit more successful. We'll, we'll figure that out. Another thing that my friends got me is this sunset lamp, which was such a perfect gift for me. I'm somebody who loves to play around with different types of lighting. I always have several lamps in any room at any given time because depending on the mood, the activity, whatever is happening, like sometimes you just, you need different types of lighting, okay? If I'm filming, I need like basically all the lamps on. If I am just trying to meditate, try to get into a nice little vibe, relax, then I need to have, you know, the fun lights. Like sometimes I like how my grow light just has different colors. I can make it blue, red, or purple depending on what vibe I want. And I definitely use that to my advantage. Even though it's for my Monstera, it's for me as well. And so this sunset lamp is only going to add to the fun vibes. And then the other thing that my friends got me were, were these cute little tarot cards, which is amazing because I love collecting tarot cards. I don't know how many decks I have. I mean, you know, and if we're going to talk about decks of Oracle versus Tarot, I'm like looking at all of them. I have them all on a shelf over there. I have like half of them are Oracle and half of them are Tarot. I don't know. I thought about making a video of like showing all the different artwork for each of those two, but... <laughs> These ones are really ridiculous. I had like a, a thumb size deck already. And so I ended up uh, giving one of them to the friend who, who gifted me these. Cause I was like, I, I don't need to have two. How about you take the, the writer version? And this one has prettier artwork. So I'm excited about it. Okay. I think we've gotten through all the gifts that were gifted to me. The only other thing was that my dad had gotten me a Tori Amos album on vinyl, which I mean, I loved so much, but I loved it so much that I actually already own this album. I have Under the Pink. And so uh, we're gonna exchange that so that way I can get maybe like, I don't know, I don't have Boys for Pele on vinyl yet. So I think I'll do that instead. Na -na 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 we're just gonna do a couple of things that I got for myself. 
Oh, actually, before I go there, as soon as I picked up the first item, I just realized, I'm like, wait, there's a couple of other things that I got from my brother and he won't consider these gifts, but I was very excited about it. So I love making different things for people. Surprise, surprise. I mean, I look at the channel. It's, you're not surprised at all. Dang, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna come back to these in a second because then it'll make more sense. I Because I'm about to explain myself with all the things and then you're gonna be like, why'd you explain it twice? So let me show you the things that I was gonna get and then I'll, these will be a bonus. All right, so <laughs> one of the things that I got for myself was this mason jar, which I know this may be like, okay, cool, you, you get a mason jar, but it's big. And I plan to try to make apple cider vinegar for the first time, I'm very excited. I also plan to try to make kombucha at some point. I also have fermentation weights. I think that, I don't know if we're gonna have an issue with size with these. That's one thing that I was thinking about. I haven't actually looked to see. These are like for smaller things. I think it'll still probably work, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I do it. I, I'm new to fermentation. I just tried doing the whole fire cider thing and that didn't work. Well, it, it did. I did get like a little bit of mold on the lid, which I found out is like not a bad thing as long as it doesn't get mold like in the cider itself, it's supposed to be okay but I didn't know and I, I just didn't want to risk it. So I ended up composting that. It did smell fine. Like it smelled sweeter than I was expecting it to. I actually got these ones for like the smaller jars. So maybe I need to get a larger one to fit this one. I'll probably be making videos on those too as soon as I get started. So I'll let you know how it goes. Another thing that I got myself are these glass tinctures. They're really simple. Like there's, there's nothing super fancy about these. I have just been wanting to get more into tincture making. I've only ever made like one tincture before. So I, I want to experiment and try different ones. This is going to be like a whole operation. I'm going to be like making my own herbs using my hydroponic garden and then I'll make fermented things and tinctures and everything <laughs> like using all this stuff. I also get very excited to be able to give teas. Like I make different herbal tea blends anytime any of my friends are experiencing any type of sickness or ailment of any sorts. And I'll be like, oh, you are suffering from menstrual cramps. Let me make you a tea. Oh, you're suffering from a cold? Let me make you a tea. Like I just, I'll come up with different things. I have a whole apothecary in my closet. It's really fun. Okay, the other thing that I got for myself, as just mentioned before, I love my tarot cards. So I got myself this Oracle deck. It's a very popular, very common deck that a lot of people use. A lot of people like the Alana Fairchild simply for that's the the would you say author is she like the author and illustrator i will say the creator of this deck i <laughs> it's an interesting thing to to think about for like a deck versus a book i don't know yeah a lot of people like her guidebooks because they're very detailed so that's honestly what I'm in here for. This is, I'll be honest, this is not my absolute favorite artwork out of the other decks that I have. I don't know, it's just not totally my style. Like it's okay. It's not my least favorite that I've seen on card decks either. I will be working with it and I'd like to give a lot of readings for people. So I like to have options to um, for other people to find decks that they resonate with. This, this will get a lot of use. Okay, I think that we're about to wrap it up here with just a couple of bonus items that I have. And now you'll understand why I decided to explain the other things first, because it's, um, yeah, my brother, like I said, wasn't intending to just give me this. It's just, he had these, I don't know, this is like, some sort of alcohol thing. I, I guess it was bourbon. I cleaned this one off to show you like essentially what I'm gonna do. I still have to clean this one off. If you ever wanna do this sort of thing, sometimes the adhesive, um, the glue gets stuck to the glass and it's really hard to get off. So steel wool is a really great way to get it off. This is again, so that way, hey, if I wanna make apple cider vinegar or something, 
now I've got a really cool container to put it in after I'm done brewing it in my, my mason jar if I want to be able to give it as a gift. Now it's in a much better container to, to give to friends or whatever. It makes it a little bit more presentable, a little bit more fun to receive. So I told him, I'm like, if you get any more of these, please give them to me. And then yeah, the same thing with this. This was just another one where I was like, um, excuse me, I will absolutely use that if you're just going to be throwing it in the recycling please give it to me. I think him and his girlfriend were just like, oh my gosh, Allie, why, why, why do you have to do this? I, I care about the environment, okay? Basically wraps up what I got for Christmas and you know, as cheesy and cliche as it is to say, it honestly, like the, the greatest gift of all truly was just being in the presence of family. We had family friends come over as well. So we had a full house. I was so appreciative to be in a house that had so much laughter, so much conversation, and a lot of food. A lot of food. My brother and I were handing out bags and bags of food to people at the end of it, being like, no, you have to take it home. So it was a really fun time. I'm super appreciative and I honestly just makes me even more excited to start off this next year with some really amazing loving energy and I have a lot of other different types of videos coming out soon. I did a lot of baking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have been teasing my dad because he keeps watching these Hallmark movies and they're constantly trying to save the bakery and so I'm like, oh, another Hallmark movie? They're, they're trying to save the bakery again? Yeah? You know, I don't know, I guess baking is just a thing that happens around this time of year and I am no different in that regard. So a couple of those videos are gonna be coming out soon. I hope that you enjoyed this and let me know if you guys got anything fun or special. Like I said, if you know anything fun about the, the knife, if you have any tips on doing the hydroponic garden and anything that I showed today, fermentation, I would love to hear all of your tips and tricks and I will see you in the next video. Bye.